So in this video, I'm going to go and show you how I created my Echo Dot uh, TIE Fighter. So we can see here uh, a few things I've chosen on this. Um, I chose to have the insides flat instead of having the detailed design on the inside. And that was just to make it easy for printing. Uh, if I wanted to make those uh, details on the inside, I probably would have thickened this here. Uh, I have it at an eighth of an inch, probably to a quarter of an inch, so I could have printed each of these pieces standing straight up uh, and not using support material. Otherwise, I figured uh, printing these pieces at this thin, I would have to lay it down and use a lot of support material. So I made that choice as well. Uh, you're going to see I also chose that body type, but I went through lots of different iterations of looking for the body type that I thought would look the best uh, and the wing as well. Uh, I decided to use a square cutout just because I figured it pieced together a little bit more. So I'm just going to go through this process and we're going to start with designing the wing on it. So I'm going to lay a sketch down. I put that on my front plane. And the thing I'm going to use a lot in this is the mirror tool. So I'm going to make my line starting at the center uh, going 1.75. Uh, and I'm going to bring a line down even here. Doesn't matter the length of this because I'm going to dimension this. To, uh, from here to here. Uh, nope, I lied. I want to undo that dimension. Let's go like this, undo that. I want to dimension from this line to this line 110 degrees. So you can see that still connects right here. Now to save myself some time, I'm just going to use my line tool with my uh, construction line and I'm going to make a vertical construction line and I'm going to make a horizontal construction line. I'm going to click on my mirror tool and I'm going to select my vertical one. I'm going to select the two lines here. I'm going to escape my mirror tool. I'm going to use my mirror tool, do my horizontal one, select these. As well and then I can uh, extrude this sketch and again the extrusion on this I'm going to go an eighth of an inch just to save some material I think it still gives the same look but makes for a nice easy 3d print so now I'm going to lay my next sketch down on the front of this and this is I'm going to use that same mirroring aspect on this uh, the first drawing on this is actually really simple I'm just going to go around the outside and instead of mirroring this, I think it's quicker to just retrace my original drawing. And again, I closed that out and retraced it. I'm going to set up my same construction lines that I did off of this one. So I'm going to come up to my construction lines. I'm going to do a vertical construction line. And I'm going to do my horizontal construction line. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the center here. I'm going to draw a straight line going to the left. And I'm going to make this line 1.6 inches. I'm going to dimension this line from the top of this, that line that I drew, 0.15 inches. So now I'm just going to grab my line tool. I can come here. If you notice, I can match that angle of the outer line right there. So that's a nice, easy process. So I'm going to grab that line tool again. This time I'm going to make uh, a 0.65 inch line. I'm going to dimension that from the top 1.8 inches. And I'm going to grab, grab that same line tool going to my line here. And I'm just going to find, again, if I can look, I'm going to match that same angle right here. Oh, I should have clicked escape line instead of enter. So I'm just going to delete that off. So we can see to double check that I can just dimension this and make sure I'm at 110 degrees, which I'm not. So I'm going to make it 110 degrees. And the reason that is causing an error is because I have that there. So if I can take that uh, dimension off. So I'm going to continue.